birthday time, NBC 15 in the Kalahari Resort in the Wisconsin Dells. Treating you to a one-night stay and two all-day passes to their indoor theme park. Every Friday we draw another name yet till noon the following Monday. Email us or call us to claim your fabulous prize. Who's got one today? Elizabeth Hurley, 51 years old. Prince Philip married to the Queen of England. He is 95 years old. And this was the birthday of Hattie McDaniel, 1895, born on this day. She was the first African-American actress to receive an Academy Award for her supporting role as Mammy in Gone with the Wind. Today is National Black Cow Day, which is similar to a root beer float. And oh. it's also National Iced Tea Day. Yes, it is. On this date in 1837, state capital workers arrived in Madison. Uh, they arrived to build the first Capitol building. Hey, we better say congratulations. Sue Coyle, you're our birthday winner. Give us a call or throw us an email and claim that fabulous prize to the Kalahari. On this date in 1935, Dr. Robert Smith took his last drink and Alcoholics Anonymous was founded in Akron, Ohio. Hmm. Bring you down moment, 1991, 11-year-old J.C. Lee Dugard was kidnapped in South Lake Tahoe, California. She would remain captive until 2009. Wasn't that Eight years. incredible? Bizarre. This horrible, what was his name, Garrido? Yeah, and they found her, her like, <sighs> what? Not far. She, not far from there no, at all. No, she yeah. was just kept in this backyard. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this compound. And then it's remember, weird. you know, you had the the three women in Ohio. I mean, just in, these incredible stories. I'm just glad they, they, they got away. Yeah, here's an incredible story for you. For your viewing pleasure, uh, we go back, well, I don't know what year this was taken, but in 1916, this fellow was born on this date, William Rosenberg of Boston. Hello. Yeah. He, uh, at, uh, he did various odd jobs. At 17 years old, he began working for an ice cream distributor and rose to national sales manager by the age of 21. He then decided to start his own company, borrowed $1,000, and started industrial luncheon services, and they delivered sandwiches and uh, food to uh, industrial workers in the Boston area. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, then uh, he had found that most of the food that he sold and he started like vending trucks like he would drive up and you know trucks that you see around all over the country now he would serve his food out of these but he found that most of the people liked uh, coffee and donuts that's what he sold most of so he decided to focus on coffee and donuts oh. and he started a little uh, company called Duncan Donuts. Okay first of all look at those wonderful vintage cars I <laughs> love that. Yeah late 40s. Oh man uh, look at the second one from the left. Yeah. Oh. Yep. So Dunkin' Donuts. It was so originally long. called the Open Kettle Coffee Shop, but really? he changed the name to Dunkin' Donuts. I had no idea they were around that long. Yeah. They've been around. Yeah. Neat. Now, there are a few of them around now. It's just you a few. You don't have to look far. New.